Welcome back. This is episode 164 of NoobTube, a weekly independent podcast where you and well, actually, where I have been playing through the new Ratchet and Clank, and uh, things are a little different this time. You know, I'm really surprised you're going through it with all the changes. I mean, really, they have you collecting and customizing all of Ratchet's outfits? Like, seriously. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. It's Ratchet, all right? I'm What's even it? willing to play through this awful RTS portion of the game. Dude, even with all the crap you gave Brutal Legend, I don't understand. Like, wait, are they making you do a Lombax dating sim now? That's it. I'm intervening. No, no more. You, you no, can't play this game. But, but it's Ratchet. I'll do anything. I'll click through terrible dialogue trees full of dot 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 from my little buddy. Just give it back. No, nope, you need help. I need to watch another. And I'm Ratchet, Kozire, and Ratchety Ratchet. This week is Ratchet and Clank Future, A Crack in Time, Trine, Lost Winds, Winter of Melodious, and Tekken 6. Tekken 6, our new releases include Dragon Age Origins! You guys have been waiting for that. Lego Rock Band, Band Hero, Jack and Dexter, The Lost Frontier. Let's get started with Ratchet and Clank Future! A Crack in Time. <laughs> 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 if we can actually get drunk this way and just keep on ingestion, that would be pretty awesome. Oh, and I'm making a mess. You run the second you through time and get <laughs> drunker and then the run the third you that's right so uh this is some delicious wine this is actually like high class wine we have not we've, we've been doing the box wine for quite some time so we have a friend who uh her name is karen who yeah. her, she's going through uh becoming a sommelier and she kept making fun of us for drinking such that's shitty kind of, wine sommelier is kind of like a wine doctor yeah that's right. she's, <laughs> right, she's, basically. she's dr strange wine so yes. uh we got from biale vine vineyards we've got a uh a zinfandel is delicious and it it's gonna really awesome actually it's gonna spoil me because she keeps giving us good stuff then i'm not gonna be able to go back to two buck chuck or uh or, or a box wine that we do we'll, yeah. we'll see but you know it's kind of neat to actually you. get yeah awesome wine. thank you karen oh. for hooking us up um if any of you guys want to send us nice wine sealed sealed please <laughs> um i would be more than happy to drink it Yes. If you send it to or us, recommendations so. as well. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we have a big game that we've been waiting. Or actually, Tobin's waiting for a huge amount of time. I've definitely been excited for it. Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank. Woo! Future. A crack in time. A crack in time. But time. Time. Time is. Yes. Time is a big part of this game. Time is a huge part of this game. And uh, I was. I was, I'd seen some of the uh, the previews for it, and I was. I couldn't quite figure out what they're doing. Like there was a couple things where it looked like they stopped time. Yep. Some other stuff, and I hadn't really seen this whole running through time multiple times, interacting with yourself thing. Uh, not not in a Ratchet game. No, 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 no. Um, there are quite a few other games that we've we've yeah. we've played, um, like Curse of Times Ten, Curse of Times Ten, uh, uh, was, Braid, uh, Braid, a couple yep. other ones. So um, it's interesting. I mean, they took a couple of like, the the weird thing about this game, and I want to give you know I don't want to say it's bad necessarily, but it's yeah. it's almost like Ratchet was like, okay, Super Mario Galaxy, that was an awesome game. Let's let's take some stuff from that. Um, oh, Braid, Braid was an awesome game. Let's take some stuff from that. But they really did make it kind of their own and, and folded yeah. into their their story. So I'll give them and, a little credit for that. And in fairness. Every Ratchet game has had a history of this. Like it's not so much mm. it's not so much that they take stuff from other games, but I mean every game they add something. Mm -hmm. You know, like they'll like I, I remember going back through and playing these old Ratchets and be like, oh shit, they added Magna boots. Oh shit, they added weapon 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 leveling up, yep. grappling you know, hooks, grappling hook. I mean, like so they even though we can point out games that these elements have shown up in, they have always tried to every time push the limits. So you're not like, oh, fuck, another Ratchet. They took the same engine, did some new levels. It's true. And, and they really did a good job, I think, with taking those elements and building interesting levels around it. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what Insomniac is really good at. They're really good at level design. Yeah. They're really good at taking kind of a formula, formulaic sort of platforming experience. Yeah. And just polishing the mother, I mean, just yeah. like seriously, this is a polished game. It looks awesome. Yeah. Every, like the best thing about it, and I don't think any other game developer, or very few game developers, have this level of detail. But when I go to the store and I'm like, hey, I want to find out what this thing does, right? Normally yeah. you hit a button and you see this text description. Yeah, text. You yes. don't get that. What do uh, you get? You get a fucking '50s era <laughs> video where it's like, Mirror, welcome to something industries. You know, like, have you ever wanted to skull fuck your enemies with a unicorn horn? Here you Here's go. Here's the unicorn horn gun. Blah 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 blah. blah. You know, it's just like they they show you what every weapon does you're just kind of like you feel like you're in this world where it's kind of full of ridiculous marketing for for things like battle arenas mm -hmm. for weapons you know people are going around building huge spaceships and it's just kind of silly in a really cool way yeah and, and they do such a good job with like creating the world and all that but before we get into the environment like how is the actual game so, it's like, awesome 
I was I'm impressed. I, I I'm really, really, impressed. really digging it. Yeah. Um. So like, I, so a couple of things I haven't played as much because we've been like absolutely hammered this past. We have week. been destroyed with games. <laughs> this is. I mean, it's not a bad problem to have, but we have had to just be pounding through some games. Yeah. So I know, like, you would have probably already finished uh, Ratchet by this point if you I had always not played do. all these other games. Every Ratchet game that comes out, I just I usually just like sit down and just beat it. And I've 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 like been playing so many other games that I haven't actually beaten Ratchet yet. I'm I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. Well, you've got a lot further than I have. Um, yeah. But some of the stuff that I that I find that I really like is uh, they, so they split Ratchet and Clank. I don't think I'm giving anything away. No, but they're they're split. They're so always you, yeah. There's always some weird reason they have to go off apart. And um, the reason they do it is to add a lot of different game elements for each. So Ratchet is your standard platforming your guns, which yeah. is really awesome. It's really well done. But with Clank, they really added that time element where it's all these time puzzles where you're going, you're stepping on a thing, recording yourself doing something, and then using your you know, whatever that did for, for other things. It's yeah. like, holy crap. It's really, really cool. Because the thing is, is you get these platforms, and then each one you basically make a recording of yourself. So this first one, you record yourself, and you run over and push this yep. button. The second one, you record yourself, run over, and go through the door that the button opened. Yep. Sounds easy enough, right? Pretty easy. But then what they start doing is like three three things. They give you three? Oh, wow. And then what, what they'll do is that this guy goes forward and opens this. This other guy runs over here, but then you have to... Basically, wait for this theoretical second other person to do something, then you run over here and do something. So you're basically hmm. doing this dance where once you've recorded yourself three times, you have to go back and re record your first self and do more stuff while you're dancing with these other guys. Like, mm-hmm. I know that he's going to run over here, yeah. so I have to lift this platform for him. But then when he's done, I run over here Ooh. and go to the exit. So <laughs> it becomes this ballet where you record over and over again until all of your guys are doing the right things in time. And it's, it, I've never seen anything like it. I mean, like, the closest thing I could say is Cursor times 10, yeah. which is, I mean, it was it's cool, flash game. it was cool, <laughs> but I mean, like, this really takes it to the to the next level. Oh, absolutely. And um, they, they also add another element, like I was talking about Super Mario Galaxy, where you're Ratchet and you're going out into the universe, or like not the galaxy, which you didn't do in other Ratchets no. for the most part. But you're going, you're flying in a ship, you're killing people. So this is probably the only place where I can say something negative about the game is yeah. that the spaceship parts are kind of lame. I agree with you. Uh, I, I agree mean, with you. It's, seriously, it's, it's the turret uh, yeah. mode of, of, of this game that, yeah. you know, generally... It, it's tacked on. I mean, like, the thing yeah. is, they'll send you out in space, and then it'll, you're, you're on a... It's not even 3D, right? You're on a 2D plane, yeah. and then there'll be, like, ships attacking you, and you have to shoot them down, and it's like, you've got gun and missiles. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to say it's... Like, it's not bad. Like, you're not like, oh, this is bad, but it's kind of boring. And Especially it's, compared to the rest of the yeah, game, right? It, it doesn't game belong. so much better. It doesn't belong. Um, but, you know, I can understand why they had to do it. They said, okay, well, we need people to go to these, Ratchet to go to these various spherical worlds, which yeah. you're going and then collecting um, gold um, uh, gold bolts, uh, z- what are they called, Zunis? Yeah, the Zunis. Zunos, Zunes, Zunis, know, something yeah. like that. Zunis. <laughs> <laughs> I like, it's yeah. the iPod versus the Zunis, and they have to destroy... The elements of time. Yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you had to do all this stuff, which is interesting because each one is a very small self-contained level. Yeah. And uh, at first I was like, this is kind of lame because you're just going around in a very flat, w- not flat world, but a very simple world. Yeah. But then they actually started making more platforming, which is much better. Yeah, there's actually uh, one that I've gotten to that I can't even figure out. Like they actually really? like ratchet up enough in difficulty that, that I, I'm just like running around the world. I'm like, I know that I have to get into this cage. Like there's like this electrified cage yeah. and like somehow you have to get into it and push a button and I can't fucking do it. Oh, so they, They're good at the puzzles. They start they easy. Do. They're, they're kind of following the Nintendo model of like you start playing and you're like, oh man, this game is going to be too easy. And then yeah. it goes, you know, it starts to get. And I'm seeing that with the time stuff for, for Clank. Because yeah. um, like the very first few, the tutorial level is like, you know, not that, but, but once you start getting to the next level, it gets complicated. It does. Like really complicated. And um, one really nice thing is, is uh, one thing that they've always done with Clank in all of these games that I've always thought was kind of bullshit mm-hmm. was that you collect these robots. And the robots can either attack or. Uh, stay or uh, build a bridge or whatever. So basically, Clank is with his with his antenna controlling these little robots. Yep. The puzzles were always bullshit, stupid, simple, mm-hmm. and they were just kind of like ah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. like the last one they did better with it, mm-hmm. but it was still just kind of not that hard. And this one, they so far I haven't seen them at all. Like what they've done is the time oh. stuff. What they've done is. Uh, this other thing where you're basically healing uh, time ruptures on mm-hmm. planets, like kind you're of like, like a, it's uh, almost like Geometry Wars. Yeah, it was, it's, like it's similar to Geometry Wars. Huh. Um, so it makes me, you know, I think that they kind of are willing to look at their formula and be like, this is kind of bullshit. Huh. And I wouldn't be surprised if the next Ratchet game doesn't have flying around in space. 
You know, I, I like, hope so because uh, it's just like yeah, it didn't work out that well. Right. Um, but it, but it's interesting because you, when you were telling me that you were actually thinking that the Clank levels were better than the Ratchet ones, they, so far they've been more engrossing for me too. I mean, like I'm thinking that as far as like pure puzzling, it's just like platforming is good, yeah. right? But this one engages my brain on a much different level, yeah. Um, in a, in a pretty creative, very you know, like feedbacky way that, that right. it's it's really good. So I'm kind of itching. Like, I just got finished with a, a, Ratchet, a Clank level, and I'm like, I don't want to play. <laughs> I mean, it's still good, but. It's yeah. Like I kind of want to play more Clank levels. Yeah. So, but they they mix it up pretty well. So, so I think what's going to happen is is you know Ratchet's going to get to do the arena stuff, which is always really mm-hmm. fun because you get to level up your weapons and start doing other battles. And yeah, somebody yeah, mentioned that, yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm very happy that the arenas exist, and the Ratchet stuff is kind of more of like the popcorn stuff where you get more and more cool weapons, and you kind of have to explore the worlds, and it oh, does really. get really puzzly eventually, where you're doing like the rail slides, and you know mm-hmm. you've got the hover boots, you can jump off shit. Um, but they've done a really nice back and forth where it's like every time you cl- you're clank, you know it's going to be puzzles. Yep. When you're ratchet, it's exploration. And the, the, I think I would say the pacing is done really well. Yeah. It's just like, okay, I'm getting a little bit, you know, lame, you know I'm getting tired of the ratchet stuff. Let me yeah. do this a little something different. So yeah. they do mix it up. Um, hopefully they get you reunited. They've been, they've been separated for a very long time. I know, I know. Um, I, so I, I, am, <laughs> I am really, really, really impressed so far. It's, it's, it's a phenomenal game. So, so what do you think? Um, so you know Insomniac was like toying with the idea of episodic entertainment. Um, you know, so they, they did that four hour, six hour yep. game uh, a while back. Uh, what was it? Booty? Something? Quest for Booty. Quest for Booty. And then now they have this full game. Uh, what do you want them to do? Full games. It's full games. I, I'm, Still. I, I, I kind of I talked about this before. I mean, like you, you were always saying that you kind of like the bite sized nuggets, yeah. whatever. But I mean, like they put so much more thought into the complexity of a game like this where the four hour yeah. one, it was just kind of like you were ratchet, you were running point A to point B and like you got to explore a world, mm-hmm. but they didn't have time to develop an entire, you know, time-based interaction thing. They couldn't do all these other games. They didn't put huh. an arena. Like, so if, if they don't have enough con, so you basically, if they don't have enough time to really innovate mm-hmm. with the things that they're doing, it's just like, you don't want to, you don't want to be bothered. You don't yeah. want the plain vanilla ratchet. You want the new thing every single game. And I feel like that's kind of true of a lot of episodic gaming. I mean, like what they mm. do is they basically, no, like, now, but now with Half-Life, I mean, granted, those aren't really episodes, but, Half-Life, okay, here's the thing. You cannot call it episodic if it's four years between it episodes. It says Half-Life Episode 1. I'm I mean, just saying, on. I'm just saying, like, that, that for all intents and purposes, it might as well have been Half-Life 1, Half-Life 2, Half-Life 3, and Half-Life 4. four. That's right, like, Half-Life 5 should be the one. And Half-Life 5 is going to be Half-Life 2, Episode 3, because, I mean, they're, they're, they're a different, Valve is an entirely different beast. But I mean, That's most true. of the time what they do is they're just like, Okay, we've got an engine and we've got some other stuff. And we're like kachunk, 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 kachunk. Yeah. Like it's like the episodes are just you might as well just you know just how spit about, out the same. How about shit. this though? If Insomniac went around and said, okay, like Tobin, I know you like these full games. This yeah. is great. Let's make DLC on top of the game that you have, and if you add a few more levels, add a few more I stuff. would be down with that. I would be down with but that. Not necessarily the, the single. So the fact that it's a single self-contained episode, which doesn't rely on the innovations of the yeah. previous one that's okay I think because I think the thing about DLC for this is they've spent the innovation time they've built this world so then the innovation could be I'm going to buy a DLC that's just like 30 more time puzzles for 5 mm. bucks done right that's but I mean, true like episodic a lot of times it's just kind of they've, they haven't done any innovation they've just said okay. they've just taken something simple like just run around shoot shit yeah that's true so it's not like they do a vertical slice with these things right yeah. I mean like that's, that's what we're talking about it's just like they say okay we're just gonna take the ratchet level and then go have yeah. fun I guess yeah. so, so that's uh, interesting so I love it shocking shocking I know <laughs> that you guys have never thought I would like this new ratchet but um, the same was true of Brutal Legend so that's true you and can't say we don't surprise you we do <laughs> we not with this one <laughs> Well, this one was not. Surprising. And you know, like uh, you know, I'm not a huge platforming guy, but Ratchet always brings it every time. As far as like level quality, innovation, just everything. It's a great package. Sixty bucks. Why yeah. not? Absolutely. If you own a PS3, buy this fucking game. Absolutely. Um, so Along with Uncharted Two. And Uncharted Two. And probably God of War Chronicles. And probably God of War for sure. <laughs> um, so next up is Trine. Trine. So Trine. So it just came out on PS3. Yeah. Um, we reviewed it, but we only reviewed the demo on right. a PC a way long time ago. So we so, went back to, to replay it for real. Yeah, so we actually got review copies. Thank you very much. Um, so we gave it a try, and um, 
so we didn't get a chance to do co-op, and which you know I really wanted to, to to do it, but you know they still haven't put online co-op in. Right. So it's still it's still in-person co-op. We're not going to harp on that because we've already given them the yeah. business for that. They know. I mean, like we you know people know that we wanted online co-op for this. Yeah. Developers are like, don't worry, the next game we'll have it. We'll, right. we'll you know we'll make right. amends. But um, no. So I played the uh, single player you know all, all the way through, and I have to say there's there's a couple of interesting things about this. So you know it's your standard not your standard, but it's your side-scrolling thing yeah. of of similar to like Shadow Complex, but more puzzly in terms of physics, right? Yeah. That's like the overall game. You have a you have a wizard who can draw boxes and move stuff with telekinesis, right. a thief who can use a, a what you call a grappling hook and shoot arrows, and then a warrior to fight. Yeah. Right. So you switch between these three characters to go through all the different levels. Right. Um, and like when you go through the level, like what, you, what was your feeling when you were playing like a lot of the uh, the earlier levels? I mean, was it did it feel a little too easy for you? Because that's one of my main complaints. Uh, it, I mean, it started off easy and, and it got harder, but. Um the the thing that was really getting me is that a, a lot of uh, it didn't feel like the puzzles were that hard to solve, but they were hard to uh, uh, implement my solution. <laughs> You, you know gotta I mean? know what you need to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's exactly the problem. Like I look at it, I'm like, oh, I know, what, I know exactly what to do. I need to draw a box and use it to drag these potions off, or I need to like prop up this 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 teeter totter with a box and then run along. I mean, like you look at it, you're like, done. I can solve mm-hmm. that shit. And then you try and do it in the physics, and you're just fighting with the physics. Like <sighs> I, I really, I really felt like for me it was a battle a lot of the time. Yeah, and you know, like the, some of the things I like, like if you look back in the day, there was Incredible Machine a long yeah. time ago, which that's what it all was. You like you put a mouse trap, you put a catapult, you put a cat, you put a mouse, yeah. you do all this stuff, and then they kind of like all interact together to do something. Yeah. And it's kind of fun. It's kind of interesting that way. But when you put it into this, this, this. Um, you know, D&D style world where you have to go save the princess, you have right. to go do something. It's just like, it's just frustrating. Well, one thing you, know you have I mean? to say about things like the, the was it the Amazing Machine? I forget what that goes. Incredible, the Incredible machine. machine was that it was a lot more of a finite state machine than those things. Like where it was just yes. like, the pieces fit together like Legos and you're like, I'm going to do this, 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 and this mm-hmm. and it would work the same way every time. You're like, I know if I build this, it's going to yeah. go down this thing, it's going to do this, it's going to do that and it's going to work. But with me, on, on, on trying, a lot of times I'm like, I draw the box and it's like, oh, when I picked it up this time, it's spinning this way and it yep. won't do the thing and like the, like the the physics don't always act the way I want them to. So it just it's almost the physics are almost too good. To yeah, me, right. I mean, because they're using a good, like probably using the Havoc engine or something like that, mm-hmm. and like they're really good. So like, there's some things where like you have this couple of spinning. This was the one that pissed me off the most. We have these spinning uh, X's, right? Yeah. And then you have to draw ramps to land on top. Right. But then I do on top, it go. Poof, yeah. And I'd be like, okay. And then, you know, I just, you know, spend like five minutes of arranging these things. And basically, by the end of the day, I finished that level by pure luck, where right. somehow they just kind of, you know, managed to go together so right. that I could jump. And that's what I'm, I'm finding more with the more later levels is that they make these puzzles like very hard, but it, it's almost more trial and error. That's, and that's exactly, than, that's than, exactly than what I this little zing, yeah. you know? Because I, I want to look at something and have the hard part being, I look at it and I'm like, oh, I need to do this. And then yes. having to do this be easy because mm, it's not right. it's not the it's not the the arranging the block on top of the x's that's fun it's to realize i need to do this on top mm-hmm. of these spinning things that should be easy you're right because i mean with shadow complex you're like okay i need a gun to go in here and i need to use a special power happened. to do this yeah yeah so, so, so shadow that... complex is just like implementing your ideas was just awesomely yeah, easy you're like and... i'm gonna run over here jump over this you know shoot over to here use a rocket over here i mean like mm-hmm. once you figured out the puzzles it was it was a joy to dive in and then implement your solution yeah and, and i'm thinking like in general maybe a co-op local will be more interesting because if you're playing together and like you're you know toying with this stuff maybe it's more fun like hey stop fucking around yeah. or like say move this stuff i don't know since i haven't really played it right. that way but it's just like as as it stands by myself it's just like it looks really pretty it looks very, it's very so pretty. well done the voice the voice yeah. um, um you know everything is really good and well polished yeah level design and and the fact that you're having to fight in between that's the other thing that's really frustrating to me is just like when i'm playing all these puzzles and i'm like oh and then skeletons start popping up yeah and i'm like oh i gotta switch and kill them and, right you know it's not very hard it's just frustrating so. yeah i agree i mean like I, I think that you're right i think the level design is what it really came down to is like you don't yeah. want it to be finagly you want it to just kind of be uh the the solution needs to be easy to implement yeah you know? I, I think just in general like if you're going to make a physics-based puzzle game don't rely on chance too much. Don't don't make yeah, the no, edges the so tiny. Be, the physics, seriously, like I said before, the physics should feel like Lego blocks. The feel, physics should yeah. feel like, you know, things happen. When I try and make something happen, it happens. I mean, surprisingly, you wouldn't think so, but in, in things like Explosion Man, 
Yeah. This was actually true. Like the way that his body flew when you did the explosions mm-hmm. was was very predictable. Like you, you, I, right. I kind of felt like I was in control of him, even though it looked like you weren't. Like he would fly over here and I fly think over they there. They cheated. They did cheat because they didn't use a pure physics model. They said, "Oh, from here to here, here's the arc. Yes. He's going to always follow that arc." That's exactly the point I was going to make. And it was more. Fun. It was more fun. Yeah. Ah, so so if, if you if you if there was like an exploding thing in the wall and you were falling down and you blew up, if you were here or here or here, yeah. if you blew up, you're going to hit this target. You know what I mean? Like they they fucking nailed it so that even though it looks like it's like an open world havoc physics engine, it wasn't. It was there was computation. You were also they did too. They made they changed the problem space not into here's how you kind of move or do something. It's all timing. Yes. So when you fly across something, you have to hit it hit the button at the right time. And if you hit it. It doesn't matter where you are. You got it, yeah. You, you've gotten and it, the process. And it was really fuzzy, yes. too. So, yeah, that's the thing. Maybe it was just too accurate, too much of a simulation, too yep. much of a physics. But, Explosion um, Man is a very good lesson on how to do this kind of thing, if you that's true. look at it. The uh, but not a good stuff. lesson on how to do online multiplayer. That was shit. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. The online was shit. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I, I hear they fixed it, but yeah. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> so, Unless like Explosion Man 2. Yeah. So let's hope for it. Um, Explosion Man 2, good. So uh, next up is Lost Winds, Winter of the Melodious. Yeah, so this is a sequel to Lost Winds that we uh, we liked a lot yeah. last time. It's a WiiWare game. Yeah. Uh, um, so so basically, it, it in, mm, in, in, mm, mm, yeah, it's so good. So, uh, so in many ways, this is very, very similar to the first Lost Ones. I mean, they took the mm-hmm. same world. You've got the same mechanics of uh, grabbing onto flowers. And you, you the whole thing is that you're using wind to make shit happen. Like, yes. It's you kind can, of your standard platformer yeah. um, to solve puzzles, to do various but things. But in a very different, I mean, like, kind of standard platform. But, I mean, like, it, it has the Wii mode interaction in, yeah. a, in a way that's very different than games that I've played before. That's true. And, and the, the one thing we really liked about Lost Ones originally was the fact that they used... Uh, um, the Wii Mote in such a natural, intuitive yes. way. So instead of like you know, you you do move the guy for the most part, but to actually make him jump, you actually have to draw a, a line through him, and it just felt very natural, right. which they did a good job with. Um, so what this comes down to is that you're you're exploring this world, and they've added a couple new elements. So they've mm-hmm. added this thing of going from winter to summer. That's really yeah, that's which is cool because you'll see things like there's there's a, a something you need to get, and it's frozen in ice. You're mm-hmm. like ah. I need to come back to that once I've changed it back and forth. So you get to the point where you can use this bear totem. Mm -hmm. Uh, You go in front of the bear totem and call the the bear god, and he switches it from summer to winter. Yep. So you can, like, pop around and and change the the seasons. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, oh, what was it? But there was some other element too, which I thought was really so. When you're in cold, the weird thing is like with Lost Winds and the original one, I never had this f- sense of urgency. Mm. Uh, but in Lost Winds, uh, Winter mm. of Lodius, when you're when you're in the winter, you are cold. Obviously, yeah. I think this gets fixed later. I haven't. That's what I heard. Yeah, anyway. it doesn't go on very long. Um, but yeah, so be, you have to be around a, uh, a flame to yeah. be able to stay alive. So at some point, you're like, oh crap, I want to like figure out if I can jump to this next level. Yeah. There's no flame there. Oh fuck, you know. Yeah. And you, you go to so you're places. running around from flame to flame to heat yourself back up. It's mm-hmm. kind of like being underwater and having how much. Breath yeah, you have. and it's it was interesting. I don't know if I liked it a lot, but I thought it was it was different. I liked it because of how long they did it. They did it for like the first hour of the game, yeah. and then you get this suit where it keeps you warm and you don't ever worry about it anymore. But what's really cool is I also liked they sent you out with this monster in the beginning where oh, was he cool. was assisting you up the side of this mountain where he would pick you up and throw you or he'd smash shit or he'd like throw things around. Like they kind of amped up the, the size of uh, the original Lost Ones. So the graphics were really good. So didn't it kind of feel like a Shadow of the Colossus like back in the day? Kind of, yeah. I mean, like I was playing like this is, I'm seriously, this guy was huge and yeah. this was on a WiiWare game yeah. which the sense of scale was was, was impressive. You know? The problem is is I've been playing for several hours after that and he never comes yeah, back. So I think that it was kind of for like a big intro. They're like, check this out. And they're like, Woo. Uh, where'd that guy go? He was cool. <laughs> Can you make him do more stuff? Yeah. Uh, but yeah. No, I mean, the puzzles are really good. You do a lot of stuff with flame, with drawing flames to yeah. melt stuff or to burn things. Yeah. Um, again, I, I haven't spent as much time as I want to, but right. it feels feels like a good, and it feels longer to me. It does. It does. It does feel longer, and there's there's a, a little bit less of the um, bullshit running back and forth elements there was in the first one, but I do have some complaints. Oh, yeah. We, we really bitched about that. Yeah, because was, there was a lot of run, 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 run yeah. back and forth. <laughs> We're saying like, oh, yeah, this is about an eight-hour game, or sorry, it's yeah. a four-hour game, but it's really just two hours because you're just doing the same levels just over running over back and forth back and forth back and forth. that's seriously what it felt like they the fixed that so, yeah so this one they made a lot more um they made a lot more jumping mm-hmm. like in the fir- in, in the other one you'd kind of grab onto stuff and you'd fly around but this yeah. one there's a lot of triple jumps that you have to make that kind and of... there was a lot of times where i was just like all right i get it but i kind of want a jump button yeah because there's a lot of times where i'm running and it's just like there's there's this ledge and there's this ledge and there's this ledge and there's this ledge and you're like Foot, foot, foot. Because there's always like three to yep. get because they're like really far apart. So you can do three gusts. So, so like you get to these things where it's like to get to the top from the top to the bottom. I was doing this gesture and doing this gesture. I was like, 
All right, guys, come on. Like, you made it two? Could you made right. it one? I, I yeah. had the exact same feeling. Because I, I would mess up, and then I would go down and have to redo it again. Right. It's just like, well, this doesn't make any sense. Right, because the, the, the fun part is the other stuff. It's not the just jump from ledge A to ledge mm-hmm. B. So to make that kind of tedious was a mistake on their mm-hmm. part. Interesting. And I think you know they should really look at what Nick's Quest did. Because the thing is, like you, you have to Everyone compare the two, right? Everyone should look at what Nick's Quest did. <laughs> that game is the shit. You look at these. They're both WiiWare games. They yeah. both use the Wiimote in interesting ways. But Nick's Quest... And oh. Nick's Quest is not as pretty as Lost Winds. They no. put a lot of artists on, on Lost Winds, right? That's right. But the pure gameplay aspect of like making your brain hurt because you're doing all these things like in time as opposed to, eh, eh. Yeah. Like that, you got to give some marks to it. But it's still a good game. It's it, like it 10 is bucks, good. right? It is good. So, I mean, like when you're, when you're looking at those WiiWare games, I'm still saying, I mean, Nick's Quest is still better. It's still really good. <laughs> like Nick's Quest for platforming, I have yet to see a WiiWare game better. Like that's my favorite Even like DS games. Like, yeah, it, even it DS rivals games. a lot of DS it is, games. It is fucking awesome. Um, but this is good. This is this is a little bit better than the first Lost Ones, I think. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, we yeah, because the Lost Ones we didn't even finish. I mean, this one I can see you probably. I can yeah. see that I might finish this one. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so it's good. Yeah. Boop. Um, uh, Tekken 6. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to spend too much time on this game. Yeah. But Tekken 6, you know, I, I'm a, I was a pretty big Tekken guy. Like, I, I, like when my friend had my PlayStation, uh, PlayStation, I was like, oh, crap, you know, I got to get Tekken 2, Tekken 3. But, you know, I kind of got away from it because I didn't have people to play against. Uh. And uh, so, you know, I played this and it's like, okay, well, you know, they offer some interesting uh, options. Okay. Uh, they have, they have a, a quest mode. Is that just is that a just single like player quest mode. fights in a yeah, row? It's, it's a little different. Do you remember that one Mortal Kombat quest mode that they did a long time ago? No. I you, did you play that one? Because I remember I played it. It was the worst thing ever. No. Basically, okay, so you is have it like a, a street brawl. It's so bad. So, <laughs> so, so you have um, so there, a couple of fighting games have done this. We're like, okay, we know that all you're doing is playing against these people over and over again. Yeah. Let's make it a little more interesting. Let's make a quest adventure out of it. Okay. So they did this, and it's like you're some guy. There's a long story, which is really boring, but a lot of pretty cutscenes. Right. And you're going, you're like, huh? It's basically here's like a path. Yeah. Two guys pop up in the end. You're like, oh, fight, 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 fight. Ooh, they drop a chest. Get it. Is it like Next is it like bad dudes? Is it just kind of like it's, they just... it's like bad dudes is more fun than this game? <laughs> <laughs> I swear, dude. It's just like I don't understand why fighting game manufacturers decide to do this. Wow, but it's just bad. So is, is the goal to like get farther every time? Like you beat because it's like level one, level two, well, level three. You, you get achievements as yeah. you go through. You get you know stuff. You pick up stuff. You can like. Change I mean, how do you lose? Suits. You run out of health, right? So yeah, I mean, you like, die. Yeah, you lose. The goal is to keep going. But it's, farther. Not a, it's not like you're not playing the fighting like yeah. in an arena. You're playing it's just like in a 3D. No, it's not like 2D, but you're still playing 3D. But it's so janky. I mean, it's yeah. like like 2001 era 3D <laughs> games, and you're playing. Anyhow, it's just it's terrible. It's the yeah. worst idea I've ever seen. Then you have the other the game. It doesn't look on the 360. I played it. it doesn't look that good. That's what people. I've, I've actually heard this. Like I, yeah. I didn't play Tekken Six, but really people uh, actually Locke was saying this is not a next gen Tekken. Yeah. That's. I mean, that was his quote, and I was just like, wow. That's. I mean, they've had plenty of time. The, you know, the 360 and the PS3 are not new. No, and and, and I mean, I'm thinking maybe if they you know spend a little more time, maybe the PS3 version will look better. Who yeah. knows? But I, I, we saw it in the arcades. It looks gorgeous in, in the, the arcades. arcades. It looks scary good. And uh, obviously the arcades have super high def PCs and yeah. all this other stuff. But still, man, it's just like I was kind of disappointed in that. I haven't played online yet, but I hear the netcode is terrible. Ooh. And that just kills it, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, well, like, it's got to have. I mean, like you, people are going to play through a little bit at home unless you're playing with your brother and sister. You're yeah. going to go online to fight dudes. So um, all in all, I would say you know kind of skip it unless you're a huge Tekken fan. Yeah. But um, there's so much wrong with this. Like there's there's other games that have good netcode and that saves it. Right? I was going to say people are still playing Street Fighter Four. Like yeah. they fucking love Street Fighter Four, and the netcode is great in that. So it's a lot better than this. Yeah. I mean, you know, De- what a Dead or Alive is better. Stick? Did it work yeah. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's just like at this point now, it's just like I, since I never play with a controller, it's just like it's it's kind of like it's baseline. <laughs> so like, yeah, it works. Of course Ooh. it works. Why would it just like work? the arcade. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, so yeah, so Tekken 6, uh, thumbs down. Okay. Uh, avoid it. <laughs> but I don't know why we reviewed anything other than Ratchet this week anyway. Because that is all I wish that matters. If we didn't, you could have played more. It's like, I know. Don't waste your time with these other you games. Quit this damn paid, <sighs> stupid podcast. I know. I'm out. That, that's it. I'm YouTube done. is you now. I, no, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go play I'm Ratchet. Gonna, I'm gonna go play dra- you know a bunch of these other Modern games. Warfare Modern Warfare Two. That's all, dude. This is gonna be Noob Tube Warfare Two <laughs> for the next month. We should release an episode where it's just the camera and the wall for an hour. No, without us. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Actually, just hear sounds of like UA- UAV spotted. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like back and I'm just like, yay, Ratchet. <laughs> uh, we, could, we could do that, and people will watch and then you stop guys watching. Would not watch that. So uh, new, new releases. releases. Ooh. Dragon Age Origins. Dragon Age Origins. So this is getting great buzz, and we oh. played the shit out of it at PAX. And it was awesome. Yeah. We really loved it. Um, it's coming out at midnight, actually, when we're recording. So uh, it'll be tonight. out by the time you, right. 
You have it. Uh, awesome. It's basically uh, four player, like four team, four people in your team, but you control one of them at a time, right. and you're doing your standard D and D style. Only single player. They didn't. They didn't muck it up. They didn't throw in like multiplayer, or whatever. They're just like we yeah. are single player. This is a single player. Uh, basically, you're playing World of Warcraft by yourself. I always heard it meant, uh, referred to as Mass Effect with dragons. Mass Effect, or massively single player, massively which I thought was, player. That was the, the director of the game told us that at, at PAX. I thought that was fucking genius. Mm-hmm. Um, I, so, I still like passively parallel. Passively <laughs> that's what parallel. Demon's, Demon's Souls, right? It's passively yeah, multiplayer. That's so. actually, yeah, that's kind of cool too. PMO. Um, um, but yes. Yeah. It was so hard. <laughs> How much have you played it this week? I am on the, uh, I'm on, I'm on the, uh, the spider, spider one. She's okay. kind of a bitch. All right. So um, I'm getting so it. I beat the demon knight, uh, the tower knight though. Fuck oh, that nice. guy. The ankle biter. Where you were the oh, ankle biter? No, I, I re-rolled to be a magic user, <laughs> and I'm from the parapets. I'm like, woo. Nice. Hiding. Woo. Nice. Hiding. Kicked his ass. You um, know why? Because in every game, the right thing is to be the magic user. That's right. I fucking loved magic user. Uh, but yeah, Dragon Jordan, we're very excited about that. Next one, not so much. <laughs> Um, Band Hero. Really? I'm so pissed about rhythm games being <laughs> bullshit now. Like, I know they're they're milking, they're bl- taking blood from the stone. Band Hero and Lego Rock Band. Yeah. Fuck you. Really? Fuck you. So like, I was looking at Band Hero and it's Lego bas- Rock Band. Band yeah. Hero. I got one for each of you. <laughs> but like Band Hero, it's like seriously, they took Guitar Hero World Tour, took out all the songs, and there were some good songs in there, and yeah. replaced them with songs your mom would like. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, it's like, yeah, let's fucking rock out to Everly Brothers. Woo! <laughs> uh, what's that? Shot, what's the, the, girl, the, the, the girl that got interrupted by uh, Kanye? Oh, yeah. Taylor Swift? I don't know. Yeah, she's, she's in there. Yeah. Um, but anyhow, it's just Evanescence. like... Evanescence. Evanescence is in there. <laughs> oh, come on. Fuck Evanescence. So it's a total cash-in. Fuck this game. Yeah. Um, and then you have Lego Rock Band. It's just like, I'm actually disappointed in you, uh, Harmonix. Lego Rock Band looks like an abortion on wheels. <laughs> like, what in the goddamn... Dude, so- the- if you watch the game, ch- the the videos David for this, David Bowie. I mean, come on. It's like a Lego David Bowie. Just be like the man who sold the world. <laughs> it's like, come on, let's dance. I mean, come. You're really? like the man who sold your fucking Dude. image to Activision. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if they had that song, that'd be cool. But they had Let's Dance, and they probably have like, uh, just like they take all the good bands and kick the, their worst songs. Yeah. I mean, come on. Iggy Fuck Pop's in there, games. like yeah, I'm uh, getting so. Sick. Well, did they do the Iggy Pop like the uh, the did, one from did, from um, the song from uh, Train Spotting? Which one was that? I don't remember. Uh, Fuck. Lust for Life. Maybe I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. But basically, you look at the thing, but it's just like it's not Iggy Pop like cutting himself. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. I want Iggy puke. Pop with that fucking bloody chicken. That's what. <laughs> yeah, I Yeah, ain't gonna have because it's Lego version of him. So so fuck that. Yeah. Um, the last one I'm actually really excited about because I played a bit at uh, TGS. I am super excited. Uh, Jack and Daxter: The Lost Frontier on so. PS2 and PSP. Yeah. Uh, Ah, PS2. It's actually PS2, yeah, so I might want to play it. Cause, so here's the thing. I played it on PSP, and you do use the nub, and it got yeah. a little tiring after a while, but it's a, it's a classic platformer, really well done. Yeah. But, but on the other PS2, hand, dude. so the PS2 is tempting because I get to play in a better controller, but on yeah. the other hand, I'm about to fly to London for two weeks. Yeah. So if I can get my hands on... Uh, uh, I'm going to go Portal PS2, basically. Yeah. <laughs> not, Damn it. Fuck. Not going right. to happen. But one of these two, we're going to play on the PSP or the PS2. Uh, it looks really good. Like yeah. It kind of looks like a return to... They're not doing fucking... Daxter by himself. They're not doing Which, Jack and Daxter I hear what's racing. Good, Daxter by himself is supposed to be good. Okay, all right. But they're 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 apparently back to kind of the the original formula. Yeah. So from what I've seen in the gameplay, and you got to play it. To Dude, TGS. what I played, I it's, play it. it's perfect. I mean, you basically, if you like Ratchet, if you like those style of games, you're going to love this game. So I check do it out. like Ratchet and those style of games. <laughs> so it's a Tobin game, coincidentally. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a lot of games I actually want to play instead. Like Dragon Age is going to be a long ass game. It is, but in a good way. Oh, like I know. It's, it's getting I such know. great buzz. So we're gonna we're gonna actually review that next week. That's right. Um, so we are doing uh, abbreviated shows. Uh, yep. So um, I think that might be it for the show. That's it for the week. We don't have any community section this week because we uh, we're doing two short episodes because I'm going to London. Yep. But uh, thanks for watching. That's right. Uh, yes, that's our that show. That is our show for the week. So check out our website at noobtube.com and participate in our forums by clicking the community tab at the top of the front page. Yes, if you're watching the show on YouTube, make sure you click on the subscription tab right over there. It's the big yellow one. Click on it and Do watch. Do it right now. And also rate the video with five stars by clicking on Tobin's right kneecap. Ish. Yes. <laughs> so he's user Watsonabe. I'm user Watsonabe. I always forget. <laughs> and I'm Tobin Kazire, and audio engineering for NoobTube is done by Range Two Hour Turnover Strunk. Uh, thanks for listening. We'll see y'all next week. We're out. See ya. A little different this.
this time. You know, I'm really surprised you're putting up with this because they added so much new stuff. They have like this, 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 sorry, this collecting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Starting over range. Don't put this in the episode range. <laughs> <laughs>